morning, son. All across Los Santos. Yeah, it's a nice view at the new, our new location at the Lum Bank West. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, this is just a little video I was going to put together um, about uh, car sourcing with a cargo bob. Like our cargo bob right here. All right. So you can get those on the uh, Warstock site, I believe. And uh, they are quite worth it. All right. Let's just have a quick look at those. Just for those that are curious about it. Is it the Warstock or is it uh, Leas? We'll find out here. Oh, yeah, yeah, more stock. So you can get the Cargo Bob or the Cargo Bob Jet Sam. They are equal. They're both the same, just different uh, paint jobs. Okay, so there's no difference. They hold 10 people, which is quite a lot for a helicopter, too. And they're fairly tough for the vehicle that they are. And they can also carry your cars. So we've covered this in a few other episodes, guys, so it's kind of repetitive. But at the same time, um, you know, we, we've shown selling with Cargo Bobs, and it's a great way to, to sell uh, without getting any damage using the Cargo Bob here. And uh, if you guys watch our uh, uh, sourcing only, top range only, you can pick whatever car you want. I usually pick Reapers, like our Reaper here, just because it's a nice lightweight vehicle for the Cargo Bob to carry. Different vehicles do have different weight, just so people know. Um, some vehicles are almost pretty much un, uh, impossible to lift, like, say, the uh, HVY Insurgent, the Heavy Insurgent. Um, you know, the Cargo Bob can kind of sort of glide with it, but it can't lift it up. It's kind of funny, so it can't really, you know, go anywhere with it. But it can hook it on, but it's too heavy to lift. Certain other vehicles, like the Roosevelt Valor, we've covered, and they, they can lift them, but it does so slowly. So if you follow our guide for CEO import out export warehouses and uh, you fill up your warehouse right and you do the uh, plates just right and you get rid of just one car, it'll replace it. And usually we go with the Reaper because it's a nice lightweight car. All right, guys. So um, I just wanted to put together a little bit of uh, car sourcing with a cargo bob because when I first bought the cargo bob, I wondered how many of the car sourcing missions could you use the cargo bob on. Some people thought you couldn't use it on many of them or, you know, it was, it was a question of how many out of 10. You know, I personally found later on that pretty much all the car sourcing missions you can use the cargo bob on. Now, to be safe on some of them, um, you should land the cargo bob and uh, maybe switch over to your uh, buzzard. Hopefully, you've bought one. So, you'd switch over to your menu, secure serve menu, and you go to CEO vehicles, and then you'd call in your CEO buzzard. Okay? And you'd call this in as a personal helicopter. So, you could have both helicopters out, and you'd land this one nearby. But almost always, the cargo bob is useful right away. But there is a couple missions, like say the Warlord mission, where uh, we might uh, have some clips of that in here, where you have to get a key, and uh, you might have to go get on your on the ground and basically kill all those uh, where the uh, bodyguards, or hop in your buzzard and kill all the bodyguards, and then you got to find the key, unlock the car, like this this one here, and then you pull it out somewhere where the cargo bob can get it, and then you jump back in your cargo bob and go, as you'll see. So. We've kind of covered some of that and some of the different ones, as I've said, but uh, we didn't just do a straight up car sourcing with a cargo bob, just to show the variety of missions out there and show how easy it is using a cargo bob, how it saves time, and how you can get good at using it. All right, so I just wanted to give it a little bit of intro, guys, a little bit of an explanation, because we have, like I said, kind of covered it, but at the same time, you know, it takes a while to assemble a lot of footage. Um, you can only sell a, you can only uh, sell a car every 20 minutes, so um, it takes a while for me to get a lot of uh, different examples to show you guys. All right, so hopefully you guys like that. So we'll be back in a minute. Yeah. Oh, this one's going to be involved in the chase. I know it. trouble, huh? Okay, leave it with me. Uh, I'm not gonna make it back home. I need 
still just driving and trying to give it down there. That's hilarious. <laughs> the police helicopter is still after me. Oh no. It's still after the guy. Okay, so this car is in motion. Stop them on their route, get the car, and bring it into the warehouse. All right, here we go, guys. Car is in motion down below. Okay, so normally I try to jack them in the past, or I try to snipe them. But unfortunately, both choices kind of do damage. You know, when you got to jack him, he doesn't stop. He drives like a lunatic. tend to drive like lunatics, so they won't stop for nothing. So if you try to stop them, it costs you damage. Yeah, come on. yeah that's right. You're coming with me, asshole. <laughs> Bert the French. And I call him that because, like I said, I've tried to do this many times, and they just drive like lunatics. And it always bothered me because I'm thinking, who drives like that? Like, with their own vehicle. Just plows and anything. different. I don't remember ever getting the cops on before, but maybe it's just been a while for these ones. Maybe it just happens when I can take care of the people and I never noticed, because you already get uh, stars for uh, taking the time, right? Yeah. So that's a car in motion. And like I said, you can try to stop the car and then jack it, but usually you'll just plow into whatever stops him and do a whole bunch of damage to your car costing you profit. Or you can try sniping him easy enough, and uh, that usually, as long as you know where he's going anyway, and he's driving it under control, you know, you can snipe him easy enough, but that usually costs you a little bit of damage as well, depending on the vehicle, and the angle that you shoot at, I suppose. Then there's this way, and so far, you have zero damage. And we still have one extra passenger. <laughs> And if we zoomed in, he's probably like still driving away. Still spinning his tires. Yeah. Alright, let's go see if we can use our cargo lava. Got those details through? Okay. No. So the car is on the move. You're going to have to take it oh. en route and bring it into the warehouse. Uh, 
sorry about that. Here, I'll just get rid of you. There we go. So you can see it definitely works. <laughs> Sometimes. You get the wrong one. Oh, and I just did a ton of damage to it. I usually don't do that. See, repair got zero. Huh. Notice that too. Maybe Rockstar fixed it. I'm not sure if it was always this way or... Because or, I know at first people were complaining about how sensitive they were to the damage. And I've noticed ever since that like certain times where, you know, if the damage is before you picked it up, it's actually at zero. But if Call Lester. But you know, I might not I might not even need to. He must have been the one to call. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Drop down my hook. And identify the target. There it is. Okay, stay right there, buddy. There we go. Nice. Doesn't usually get much smoother than that. do for you. Oh, hey, you're in trouble. Hmm, okay. I'll deal with it. Nice. A concerted citizen's called. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's still sitting in the car. Maybe he's the concerned citizen. <laughs> I haven't quite taken the vehicle yet, right? Right, kind of. This guy gets to disappear. See you, buddy. <laughs> Some amateur enthusiasts are racing this car around a circuit. Stop it and take it and bring it in. Should be an easy one. So, this 
car is being used in a stunt on a movie set. Head over there and take the car. But look out, you probably won't be able to get out unless you complete the stunt yourself. We'll see about that. We will see about that. Nice, it's right over here. I see the movie set. Just to the right of my helicopter, just a little bit. Let's drop our hook down. Could just go in there and scoop it right up. Maybe we should. Usually it drop down, snipe the targets. What do you think? Think we can get it? I think we can get it. Let's just get in there. Okay, don't shoot down my helicopter, guys. Yeah, just um, passing through, guys. No big deal. Enjoy your photo shoot. Or Movie shoot. Oh, apparently, we do want to snipe those guys. They've got enough heavy weaponry to do some damage, apparently. Uh, Lester. Lester. Get these guys hey, on me. What's going on? Okay, so you're in serious trouble and you need my help. Okay, okay. Oh, we got helicopter attackers. <laughs> yeah, not a pleasant scene. So in the future, we will definitely snipe. Oh, uh oh, okay, all right. Um, this is becoming a recovery mission, I think. Uh, the water becomes dangerous at this point. But we made it across. guessed I wouldn't have thought I was going to make it. <laughs> we did. We made it. Yay! Okay guys, I see the sunset right over there. We did this just the other day. Up down. Now I should be stopping and sniping. <laughs> right up here on a big good spot. It's kind of on the belly instead of the wheels. Hopefully it'll be happy enough for a minute. Alright. Sometimes you take a lot of damage and 
makes it risky. It's much better to kill the security than to take the car away. The car go up. They don't need to do the jump, don't need to damage the car. The tricky part is killing those guys and finding a good angle. All these places are this one kind of tight. I'm guessing you don't want a back rub. How could no problem? I'll get him off your back. Why do you follow me? Very strange that they're looking at me. Might still be a straggler down there, too. Let's get that car and get out of here. Even things light up anyway. Cool. All right, just in case of helicopter. Came a bunch of altitude. owner of this vehicle has multiple DUIs, and it looks like he's about to get another one. I'd get over there before they impound the thing. What can I do for you? So you don't want to get in serious trouble, huh? Okay, leave it with me. going on okay my friend I'll take care of the LSPD leave it to me
vehicle's been lent to a photographer for the day. Get past security, get the car, and bring it in.